is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are diving into something that i have been wanting to cover on the channel a little bit now you know i've been wanting to cover this this topic and get into it a little bit i know we've talked about it a little bit on the channel just in different videos you know it'll come up in 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 retrospect and it'll come up in news and stuff like that that we discuss here on the channel but i figured today would be a good day to just cover the whole aspect of it you know just dive into all the details of it dive into exactly what i'm talking about let you guys know how i feel about about it and you guys can let me know what you guys think about it as well and leave me your experiences down in the comment section below but we are going to be talking about the AEW figures today guys and not only the AEW figures but the Chase AEW figures is mainly what we're going to be talking about and I feel like this is a pretty good topic for today's video you guys can let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below and all the good things but if anybody talks about the AEW Chase figures you know you would talk about how rare they are you know how 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 crazy collectors go for them how demanded they are you know compared to the supply and demand the demand for these things is insanity and the supply of them is rather weird isn't it i feel like it's a it's a pretty weird thing but i have a couple issues i think i have a couple main issues i really don't have any like other big big problems with them but i will dive in at the end of the video and let you guys know what i think about the prices and all of those things about it but let's go ahead and start off with the first issue that i have with the aew chase figures so starting off guys first of all i want to begin with i absolutely love the aew and rival collection i love the aew figure line i I love the figures, I love the show, I love the, the wrestlers, the talent, the company that makes the figures, I love everything about it, the designers, I love everything that is around these AEW figures. I watch AEW every single week, I enjoy the product, and these figures actually have gotten me to expand my collection and wanted me to even grow like a mock collection. Like, I've never been a mock collector, never was a big, you know, a keep the figures in the package kind of guy, but the AEW figures have led me to do so. Like, it's just really fun to collect that way, and like, I really kind of found like a new love for collecting mock figures figures so that's something that I want to get out of the way but let's dive into it at the beginning guys so when the figure line first started you would have six figures in a wave and then you would have one variant of one figure that would be one of 1000 chase edition and then you had another variant in the set that would be the one of 500 rare edition which was super rare like those figures are super expensive and now we've kind of grown away from that you know people were kind of complaining about the quantity and the number of the figures so they they upped it to one of 5000 chase edition and one of 3000 rare edition so definitely a lot more in quantity out there on the market, but so these chase variant figures just like any chase variant I, I don't collect pops, but I know pops have like little variants and you know the WWE elite line They have their variants and stuff like that and some are uh, You know a lot more sought after and I don't know what the total quality quantity is of the Mattel WWE elite figures But these AEW chase figures are super duper rare, right? I mean if you get on eBay you look up the prices you will see that they are they are very expensive Especially you know depending on what which one you're looking for. How you obtain these chase figures is you either have to walk in the store and just get super duper lucky, you know, you walk in there and bam, there it is. You just find it on the rack, which would be insane. I haven't seen it yet. Nobody I know has done that just yet. I mean, I've seen people around the community, but I don't think I've ever seen somebody or know somebody that legit walked in the store and saw it on the peg. And I, of course, have never done that. That has not been something that I have been able to do just yet. I dream of that day. But seriously, you can either walk in the store and find it, or if you pre-order a full wave from Ringside Collectibles, you have a chance at getting a Chase figure. But here is where the issue part comes in. So when you pre-order the, the full wave, if you're one of the first few pre-orders, you don't have a chance to get a Chase figure. So say, you know, just the other day, Series 6 went up, right? With Pentagon and Jericho and Jake Hager. That way, full the full wave 6 went up for pre-order. And if you pre-ordered it that day, you legit have like zero shot of getting a Chase figure if you pre-ordered the full wave. However, if you wait a couple months or if you wait on like the, I don't know what number is specifically, but I want to say it's like five and six. If you wait for like the fifth or sixth or seventh pre-orders, then you will have a chance to get a Chase figure. And I guess that's because the Chase figures are not yet in production, like they don't have them completely finished or something yet. Because I have not seen it to this day. I have not seen somebody who pre-ordered the figures day one when they, as soon as they go live on Ringside Collectibles, I've never seen somebody get a Chase figure because they pre-ordered it early. So it kind of takes the, it takes the oomph out of pre-ordering early because it's either you pre-order early and you lock it in so you don't miss out on them because you know, you know, you never know when they're going to come back in stock and you got to wait on them. Or you have to wait until later 
to pre-order so that you have a chance to get a chase figure. Or you just don't chase down the chase figure, or you get lucky and buy it somewhere else, or you just buy it after market. So that is something that I think, I, w I wish that it was it was not that way. I wish that, you know, as soon as it goes live, you would pre-order it. Like, I didn't pre-order Full Wave 6. Usually I pre-order every single AEW figure wave, but I wanted to try my hand at a chase this time for series number six. So what I'm going to do is I guess I'm going to order the full wave later and see if I could potentially get a chase figure. But that is one of the issues that I have with the chase figures is that when you first pre-order, the people that pre-order first or, you know, the people that want to buy early and, you know, they want to commit their money early and get the product early at the earliest, you know, they really want the figures. They have zero shot at getting a chase figure in their pre-order if they, you know, if they get the full wave. So that is something that I don't necessarily like about the chase figures. And I wish that we could get a handle on that or that we could fix that in some capacity and then the second issue that i have with the chase figures or or one of the you know one of the bigger problems that i have with the chase figures is just like the amount of the quantity or 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 the amount of the chase figures that people find in the same area i can't tell you how many times i've gotten on a facebook group or a twitter group or something like that where i have seen where somebody has legitimately found like three moxley's or four mjf's or, you know, there's there's countless times where I've seen where people have found two, sometimes three. I think uh, somebody has even found four chases of one specific figure, which is just insanity to me. Um, you know, which is awesome for them. Like, if I walked in the store and found three Moxleys, you know, I, I would buy them too. Like, I'm not downplaying that whatsoever. I would absolutely do the same thing. Like, of course, it's not the person's fault that, the you know, that it's just, you know, it's in their stores. Like, I think I've even seen where... There's been two Moxleys, one of 500, hanging on the same shelf. So out of 500 total figures, you have 50 states across the United States, and two of the 500 ended up in the same exact location, same exact store. So that's just that's just crazy. Which, I mean, I guess it adds an element of fun to it, you know? I understand it and everything like that. But, you know, when you're driving town to town trying to find one of these chase figures and then somebody finds three or, you know, two or three in one store, it can definitely be aggravating. So I don't know what that deal is either. I don't know what the distribution issue is or anything like that. But nonetheless, I mean, I feel like now that they've increased the value, right, or they've increased the quantity of the figures. It used to be 500, now it's 3,000. It used to be 1,000, now it's 5,000. Now I feel like you probably will find two or three in one store, you know, and I think the how obtainable they are is going to go up, and I bet the, I don't know how much the aftermarket price is going to be on some of these, but I imagine that it probably will fluctuate a little bit, because that's way more, like 5,000 compared to, you know, 1,000, and then 3,000 compared to 500 is definitely a huge difference. So I don't know, I guess we'll have to find out about that, but as far as like the chase variants go, I love the idea, like I love the rarity of it, I think it adds a really fun element to collecting, and you know, like imagine the feeling you would have, I'm sure some of you out there have done this, you walk in the store and you find that ultra rare figure that figure that everybody wants and you buy it like there's no feeling like that especially like i know somebody watching this video has got a chase figure or found a chase figure and i know that that was probably an awesome day like i know what that's like to walk in and find something so awesome and you know you get that that bubbly feel it's one of the best things about collecting that's why we collect is is for that you know you walk in there and you get that little adrenaline rush because you found the figure that you've been looking for i think right now the one of 500 chase darby allen is like there's like a listing on ebay i mean i don't know how much they sold for but i've seen it like over a thousand dollars and stuff like that i mean some chases go for 200 300 400 I think some have even went upwards of like like thousands upon thousands, which again is really cool. It's really awesome because it's, you know, it just adds that whole element of collecting and like trying to find these figures. It just makes it so exciting to, to find something like that and to have a figure that everybody wants. And they look amazing in packaging. I love the sticker. I love all of these cool things. But I don't know. I wanted to get on here, find out what you guys thought about it and everything like that. Again, I don't really have a huge problem with it. I just wish that, you know, if, if you pre-ordered the figures early, you should have an opportunity for a chase figure. There should be, like, some incentive for pre-ordering early. Being that first one to click on the website and get the pre-order in, you should have a chance at getting a chase figure. And then, uh, you know, uh, spreading out the quantity of the chase figures in the same area, not being able to find two or three in one store would also be something, but at the end of the day, you know, if it continues like it continues, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it, just build a bridge and get over it, you know, just you find these figures when I can, try to get them when I can, and whatever, and hope that I can complete my mock collection one day, but huge congratulations to you if you found a chase, I have only bought one chase, that is it, still tracking the rest of them down, or trying my best to, but best of luck to everybody out there trying to track them down, I would love to know what you guys think of the chase figures down in the comment section below, I don't think all of them have been bangers, I think some of them are pretty diggum cool, but I don't know, maybe we could rank like the every chase variant ever. 
one day when it gets, you know, there's only two per wave. So right now we're looking at what, like 10 at the moment? So yeah, we probably need to get a little bit more in here. But that is pretty much my video for today, guys. I just wanted to discuss these things about the AEW figures. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know what you think of of the chase figures and everything around them down in the comment section below follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video and don't cross the line like the like the chase figures do sometimes three chase figures in one store brad i would shat you cross the line i've been beaten